With over 36,000 different McDonald's locations in at least 100 different countries, it's only natural that McDonald's would end up with some pretty strange menu items. We're likely and maybe lucky never to have tried these strange creations before, especially number one, which turned a traditional dish into a healthy breakfast option. If this is your first time visiting The Things, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Here's 10 most bizarre McDonald's menu items you probably never tried. Taro Pie the rectangular fried apple pie has become a McDonald's dessert or snack staple. Something about the crispy golden shell and the warm, sweet fruit filling really hits the spot. We found one McDonald's pie that we're willing to bet you've never tried. The bizarre taro pie originates from McDonald's locations in China. Truly, if you're familiar with Chinese or even Asian cuisine, the inclusion of a taro pie at McDonald's might sound obvious. Taro is a root vegetable similar to sweet potato, but even sweeter. It is very popular in Asian and African cuisines, and it is most noticeable for its color, purple. The taro pie looks exactly like the apple pie we know and love, that is, until you bite into it. Inside, the pie is filled with purple syrup and pieces of taro. Reviewers have said that the pie is pretty sweet, but that isn't much of a surprise for a McDonald's dessert. Taro pie has made an appearance in the United States, but so far only in Hawaii. It remains to be a dessert offered only at certain times of the year. Turns out the strangest part of the dessert is its color. If you can get past that, maybe you won't miss having fruit on your pie. EB Fileo. McDonald's Fileo fish keeps meat free customers happy when in the mood for a fast food bite. In Korea, the love of fish between buns has been taken to new heights with the McDonald's shrimp burger. The burger was made with a minced shrimp patty that was coated in panko crumbs and fried. However, this burger was suddenly discontinued and it was replaced by McNuggets. The shrimp burger had a comeback when it returned a few years after, only this time it was marketed as the New York burger. Instead of minced shrimp, the patty was made of whole shrimp and was topped with an onion ring. The McDonald's shrimp burger popularity is most notable in Japan. Prior to 2017, Japan was struggling to maintain its customers as people became more concerned about food safety. The concern originated in 2002 because of the mad cow disease scare. Though Japanese McDonald's used Australian beef that was not affected by the disease, consumption of beef at the time dropped significantly. This prompted Japanese McDonald's to diversify their menu. In an effort to drive sales, Japanese McDonald's restaurants launched their EB Fileo. This shrimp burger got its name from the Japanese model Yuri Ibahara, who was involved in the promotion of the burger. Twisty Pasta Breakfast For an occasional McDonald's customer, breakfast might stand out as one of the most delicious meals ever that's worth waking up for. However, in Hong Kong, a McMuffin trio with a hash brown is far from the only option on the breakfast menu. Hong Kong offers a Twisty Pasta Breakfast. It is a fixed item on the menu, but it is only served in the morning. Though one variation includes the same egg and breakfast sausage featured in a McMuffin, they sit atop a bowl full of twisty noodles and broth. There are even some veggies thrown into the mix. In China, China, soup and noodles for breakfast is a familiar concept and anyone leaving for their morning commute might opt for a hearty bowl of twisty pasta breakfast. For a foreigner, however, this concept seems quite strange and different from our usual sandwich or pastry fast food breakfast options. There's also a chicken version. Another strange fact is that the chicken is sliced while the sausage is served whole. Online reviews seem to agree that the noodles are always cooked to satisfaction and the broth is quite tasty and less salty than you might expect. Worried people in Hong Kong would miss their hash brown side? Have no fear, it is included with a coffee in the usual trio. Would you try McDonald's soup for breakfast? McChaco Potato. This next McDonald's snack sounds like a treat for the taste buds, especially for those who can't choose between sweet and salty. With the Japanese McChaco Potato, you have sweet and salty all in one bite. McChaco Potato was a limited edition treat that was available in McDonald's in Japan in 2016. The concept was similar to Wendy's Frosty with Fries. You can order the McChaco, which comes with two packets of sauce. Only this sauce is not the usual mustard, mayo, or ketchup you might be used to having to dip your fries. For the McChaco potato, the sauce option is exactly what the name implies, white chocolate and milk chocolate. The idea is that you can drizzle as much or as little of the sweet sauces onto your classic McDonald's fries and enjoy. There are many restaurants that have opened with the concept of selling chocolate treats in a variety of interesting ways, so McDonald's just seems to be doing their
their best to stay trending. What do you think? Have you ever tried a strange, sweet, and salty combination like the McChaco potato that was absolutely wonderful? Let us know in the comments. Cheese Stars. McDonald's Cheese Stars can be found in McDonald's restaurants in Balkan countries, including Italy and Serbia. As a limited edition option, the Cheese Stars come back around in the menu every so often, but their popularity seems questionable. Other than their star shapes, Cheese Stars closely resemble the beloved McNuggets, though they also have specks of white cheese in the batter used to coat them. Served fresh from the fryer, these star snacks will get your tray smoking hot. Once you bite into them, you'd see that they are filled with a white cheese and small amounts of an orange cheese. These are served for $2, and based on one review from Serbia and another from Italy, it seems like the local cheesy eats are much tastier than this fast food alternative. In Serbia, it's quite common to find a cheese and cold cuts platter sold for a few dollars in many restaurants. Meanwhile, in Italy, there are too many cheese incorporated dishes to count. With fresh flavors surrounding you, we're not sure cheese stars would be the top of a tourist tasting menu. Nevertheless, the idea of a star filled with cheese piques our interest enough to venture a bite. Would you try it? Mick Spaghetti. When we think McDonald's, a plate of spaghetti is far from the first thing that comes to mind. Yet in the Philippines, McDonald's sells mixed spaghetti as a regular food item. Indonesia also offers mixed spaghetti, but it has been discontinued. McDonald's has also attempted to put spaghetti items on their menu in Italy, but it resulted in a huge flop. It's surprising to see that the Philippines had the most success with the dish. Mixed spaghetti is served with a classic McDonald's cardboard box and some red pasta sauce on top, pieces of sausage, and grated cheese. It's also often served with a piece of fried chicken for a complete meal, but it's a small enough portion that you could have it on the side with a burger. Though we have to admit, spaghetti is rarely what we look for when we order a burger. In 2016, YouTuber Furious Pete Vlogs posted a video review of him sampling the Filipino dish. His review was not as positive as some of the ones online. His verdict is that the sauce tastes exactly like SpaghettiOs. At least we now know that if you're ever craving SpaghettiOs while traveling through the Philippines, McDonald's has a fix for you. Black and white burgers. This is a two-for-one type concept that has been a recurring limited time offer in China and is definitely a bizarre, if not unique, McDonald's menu item. The black and white burgers have mostly been criticized for their misleading name. This item includes two half-sized so-called burgers that are sold together as a pair. The black burger has a bun made with squid ink and is topped with sesame seeds, while the white burger is sprinkled with black sesame seeds. So far, the name fits, but where it is deceiving is when it comes to the patties. While the black burger does have a burger patty, the white burger should actually be called a chicken sandwich as its patty is not a burger, but rather chicken. It seems that each time this item is back on the menu, it is offered with much different sauces, so if you try it, you might end up with a black burger topped with a black pepper sauce and onions. On the white burger, you might have found sweet and spicy sauce. Alternatively, both of these could be topped with mashed potatoes and a slice of bacon. These small burgers really pack a punch for the senses with their contrasting appearance and flavor combination. McCurry Pan. McDonald's and vegetarian sound like an obvious oxymoron, or at least it did until McDonald's opened its first ever meat-free restaurant in India. McDonald's is very sensitive to the dishes, flavors, and treats that countries around the world enjoy. For this reason, they're constantly incorporating local food traditions into their fast food meals. According to an article in The Week, approximately 42% of India's population avoids eating meat. A portion of the population is Hindu, thus they do not eat beef, while the majority of the population is Muslim and doesn't eat pork. Therefore, it was decided that the most effective way of servicing the entire population was to open a vegetarian McDonald's. This is the story of how an unusual kind of McDonald's pie was created. The McCurry pan is served in a square pie crust dish and is filled with creamy sauce, mushrooms, peppercorns, corn, and broccoli. Don't let the veggies fool you though, this dish is not nearly as healthy as it sounds as it contains 11 grams of fat and just under 50 carbs in one single serving. The McCurry pan is evidence that opting for a meat-free meal is not always synonymous with going healthy. Carbonara Icon Chicken. It appears that Japan is often subjected to limited time offers when it comes to McDonald's menu items. One such item is the Carbonara Icon Chicken that was part of a promotion including four different types of chicken sandwiches. The other three are as follows. Cheese Fondue Icon Chicken, German Sausage Icon Chicken, and Diavolo Icon Chicken. Although all four utilize some pretty interesting flavor combinations, especially according to McDonald's Standard, we found the most unusual was the Carbonara Icon Chicken. The chicken patty, like the fondue sandwich, is coated in a sauce. The sauce is a cheesy, peppery sauce meant to mimic the flavor Carbonara Pasta Sauce. 
But the unfamiliarity of flavors for a McDonald's sandwich doesn't stop there. The Carbonara Icon Chicken Sandwich also includes scrambled eggs, bacon, and mozzarella cheese. Have we got your attention and stomachs rumbling? It might be hard to choose which of these creations are worth trying if you're in Japan during their appearance at the menu. Luckily, each of the four sandwiches are sold one at a time and for only two weeks each. Let us know which one sounds the most appetizing to you in the comment section below. Pork or chicken porridge? For our number one most bizarre item, we'll give you a bit of context. In Thailand, it's quite common to find a dish called congee for breakfast. Congee is essentially a dish containing meat in porridge. For us, this concept is a bit nauseating as the porridge we're used to is more commonly sweet rather than savory. In McDonald's restaurants in Thailand, you can find a regular chicken porridge offered on the menu and a limited time pork porridge. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, a similar item can be found on McDonald's menus that's only known by a different name, buber ayam. In Thailand, the pork and chicken porridge is served on rice porridge with a fried egg and cilantro. This is a healthy, hearty breakfast and is emblematic of a healthy porridge craze that McDonald's seems to be going through. In Singapore, McDonald's is now serving a red rice porridge on their breakfast menu. This dish was brought to McDonald's by Chef Anna Lim, who discovered the dish while on a trip to Bhutan. This dish is so popular in Singapore that it's been added to the American McDonald's menus as of April 2018. While you may have never tried the chicken or pork porridge, you can try the red rice porridge and enjoy it for less than 150 calories. And that's all for the 10 most bizarre McDonald's menu items you probably never tried. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the things and catch more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.